English for teachers. Hi, now we are going to do a presentation on the challenges the future generation teachers in Bangladesh are going to face. That's an interesting topic. So teachers, pay attention. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed chief guest, the headmaster or principal, students and esteemed colleagues, good morning. I stand before you today as Lamia Tasnim, honored to address this esteemed gathering. It's my privilege to discuss the challenges that lie ahead for the future generation of teachers in Bangladesh. As we embark on this journey of education, please remember guys, it's education. Let us remember the wise words of Nelson Mandela who once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. While we strive to shape young minds and inspire greatness, we must also be aware of the challenges that await us. In this rapidly evolving world, future teachers face the immense challenge of adapting to technology and its integration into the classroom. Embracing digital tools will enhance their learning experience and equip students for the demands of the modern world. Furthermore, we must acknowledge the importance of cultural diversity within our classrooms. Bangladesh being rich in being a rich tapestry of cultures and traditions requires teachers who can foster inclusivity and celebrate our differences. Our role as educators extend beyond teaching subjects. We must cultivate empathy and promote harmonious coexistence. In conclusion, Dear audience, let us remember the challenges are not obstacles but opportunities for growth. As teachers, we have the power to shape the future generation and mold the leaders of tomorrow. Together, we can rise above the challenges and create a nurturing environment that empowers every student. Thank you. Presentation 5 Our presentation on the victory day of Bangladesh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, students, and respected colleagues. I stand before you today as Muhammad Yasir, honored to address this distinguished gathering on the momentous occasion of the victory day of Bangladesh. I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to the chief guest, the headmaster of this school, for providing me with this wonderful opportunity. Today, we commemorate the valor of and sacrifices of our brave ancestors who fought tirelessly for our nation's independence. The Victory Day of Bangladesh holds great significance as it marks the end of a long and arduous struggle for freedom. It reminds us of the immense strength and resilience of our people who stood united against oppression and tyranny. As we reflect on this historic day, let us remember the words of our beloved father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, who once said, Freedom is not given, it is taken. These words resonate deeply, reminding us that freedom is a precious gift that must be cherished and protected. Today, we are fortunate to live in an independent Bangladesh, where we have the freedom to dream, to aspire, and to achieve. It is our duty to uphold the values of democracy, unity, and progress that our forefathers fought for. Let us strive to be the torchbearers of peace, justice, and equality, working together to build a higher, brighter future of our nation. In conclusion, let us remember that the Victory Day of Bangladesh is not merely a celebration of our past, but a call 
to action for our present and future. It serves as a reminder that we are the architects of our own destiny and that our actions today will shape the course of our nation tomorrow. Let us embrace the spirit of unity, perseverance and patriotism as we move forward. In the words of Ramindranath Thakur, where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, into the heaven of freedom let my country awake. May we always strive for a Bangladesh where every individual can live with dignity and pride. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, students and colleagues for your attention. Let us continue to work hand in hand, nurturing the spirit of independence and progress in our hearts. Together, we can build a stronger, more prosperous Bangladesh. Thank you. Now let's hear a presentation on 21st February, the International Mother Language Day. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, distinguished parents, teachers and most importantly, our beloved students, a very warm welcome to all of you. I stand before you today as we gather to celebrate a truly significant day in the world of languages. It's an honor to address you on this auspicious occasion of the International Mother Language Day, observed annually on 21st February. As we come together to commemorate this day, let us remember the profound words of Nelson Mandela, who once said, if you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. Today we celebrate not only the diversity of languages that enrich our society, but also the importance of preserving and promoting our mother tongues. Language is more than just a means of communication. It is the very essence of our identity and culture. Our mother language holds the key to our heritage, history and traditions. It connects us to our roots and shapes our perspectives. As students, you are fortunate to be a part of a generation that values and cherishes linguistic diversity. Each of you represents a unique tapestry of languages coming together to create a beautiful mosaic. On this occasion, it is essential to acknowledge the sacrifices made by those who fought to preserve their mother languages. The word of B.R. Ambedkar echo in our hearts when he said, I have no homeland except my motherland. I have no holy book but my mother tongue. Let us remember the brave souls who laid down their lives for the right to speak and write in their mother tongues. In conclusion, let us take a moment to reflect on the significance of this day. The International Mother Language Day serves as a reminder that language is a powerful tool that bridges gaps and fosters understanding among people of different languages, of different cultures. It is a day that encourages us to celebrate our linguistic diversity and embrace the rich tapestry of languages that coexist in our society. As students, remember that your mother language is not just a language, it is your heritage and the key to unlocking the treasures of knowledge. Embrace it, nurture it and share it with pride. Let us pledge to protect and promote our mother tongues, not just on this day, but every day. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Chief Guest, the Headmaster or Principal of this school, for providing us with this platform to celebrate the International Mother Language Day. I also thank the teachers, parents and students for their presence and unwavering support. Remember. 
Language is a bridge that connects hearts, minds and souls. Let us build bridges of understanding and respect through our words and languages. Together, let us celebrate our linguistic diversity and make the world a more inclusive and harmonious place. Thank you and may the power of language continue to unite us all.